welcome to Outdoor Education Club again. Um, we're going to find out about making compost in just a few minutes, but before that, let's go down the allotment to plant some broad beans. I'm currently planting some broad beans here. Uh, these uh, broad beans go about uh, 45 centimetres apart in terms of each row. And we put uh, two seeds in per planting spot and we'll choose the strongest seed which will go on to uh, grow hopefully into a much bigger plant providing us lots of lovely broad beans. Okay that's uh, 50 seeds planted. What we now do is we make sure that they are covered up with uh, about five centimetres of soil or thereabouts. And uh, once we've uh, covered them up, it's important to uh, give them uh, a light spring sprinkling of water. Of course, it's quite dry at the moment, so I'll have to make sure that I water these regularly. And uh, that's what we're aiming for. That's what we hope we'll have in about three months' time. Some lovely, fresh broad beans. Compost making is a fantastic idea, and uh, we can use uh, cuttings from uh, lawn mowing and also, of course, uh, um, peelings from the kitchen um, and uh, uncooked food and even coffee grinds uh, to make some fantastic compost for our um, beds in the garden. Composting your kitchen waste of course is a fantastic idea along with uh, some cuttings in the garden and you can see that this is the stuff from earlier in the year and it's uh, composting really nicely. And that of course is going to go on to the bed. So the compost has now gone into the planters. Um, this is really really good stuff it's uh, called uh, seed tape and uh, it's very very easy to, to plant. Um, you simply uh, work out uh, how much seed tape you require. You can see it's actually pre-spaced there so I need about uh, this much for the length of bed. I rip it off like that and uh, I then uh, put it uh, into my little uh, trench that I've just drilled like that and I then give it a slight bit of water just to stick it down. Uh, once it's been pressed in you can simply push the soil over the seed tape and all of your carrot seeds have been uh, pre-spaced and uh, hopefully they'll be growing very soon. There we have the uh, last bit of seed tape going in. It's really very, very easy to use. And hopefully that's what we're gonna be getting in about two months time. Hopefully that's inspired you to try and grow some of your own vegetables at home. Uh, even if you don't have a garden, uh, you can still do it in a, in a window box on the balcony. Now the task for today um, is in the next uh, half an hour, 40 minutes or so, I want you to uh, find out and uh, reply in perhaps three or four sentences how compost in a compost bin here turns into this lovely stuff that allows us to grow lovely vegetables. So uh, if you could explain in three or four sentences uh, how compost is made. There's a lot of biology in that. Okay, see you next week.